For thousands of years, smoked fish was a survival food. People would cure their catches by salting them and hanging them to dry, or by smoking them over an open fire. This enabled communities to stockpile nutrient-rich fish for those long winter months. Today, we smoke fish primarily to enhance its flavor. This is wild sockeye salmon that was gutted and frozen right on board a fishing trawler to preserve maximum freshness. The smokehouse defrosts the fish over 15 hours in running water that's just two degrees above freezing. This slow cold water thaw helps prevent bacteria from forming. Next up is filleting. First workers slice off what's known as the collar, the fish version of the neck. Then they cut each fish in half lengthwise, separating the two fillets from what's called the control bone, the fish equivalent of the spinal column. They feed the control bones into a machine that strips off any remaining scraps of flesh. The machine grinds these bits into minced salmon, used in making salmon pie. Workers trim the fillets using a razor-sharp knife, slicing off the fins, any excess fat, and any control bone fragments left behind. After this, the fish will be ready for curing, a preservation process that also enhances taste. Workers coat the fillets in a mixture of salt and 26 spices, then let them sit for roughly an hour and a half. This short cure time will limit the salmon's salt content to less than 1%. To stop the curing process, workers rinse off the coating with cold water, then glaze the fillets with maple syrup to neutralize any remaining salt residue. Some companies use a less costly mix of boiled water and brown sugar. The fillets go into a huge smoke oven. Workers load its combustion chamber with sawdust. Maple tree sawdust for the first eight hours of smoking. Cherry tree sawdust for the next eight hours. And apple tree sawdust for the last eight hours. This particular sequence is a major factor in flavoring the fish. They douse the fire with water to generate smoke. This process is called cold smoking because the oven temperature is 10 degrees Celsius, significantly lower than the industry norm of 25 degrees. Smoking at this lower temperature takes at least 24 hours, three times longer than the norm, but the company says it produces a moister product. When the fillets come out of the smoke oven, they're thoroughly cooked, but still have the consistency of raw fish. Workers remove the pin bones, 40 thin bones per fillet, located between the head and fin. The fillets then go through a skinning machine, which neatly slices off the skin without removing any flesh. Then it's into a freezer at minus three degrees Celsius. This firms up the fillets, making them easier to slice. The manual slicing machine cuts them into pieces about two millimeters thick. Workers weigh out the amount they're packaging. In this case, 70 grams. They place each portion on a tray made of aluminium-coated cardboard. The aluminium blocks the fat from seeping through. To kill off any remaining bacteria, they vacuum pack the wrappers, then deep freeze them for an hour at minus 35 degrees Celsius. They store and ship at a milder minus 18, the temperature of your home freezer, where preservative-free smoked salmon stays fresh for a full year.